Hey guys, welcome back to another Gaming Memories video. Here I want to do a direct comparison between Racing Groovy vs Bridge Racer. Two unique, very popular arcade racing games that were released only on the PlayStation. I want to go over the comparisons between both of the games and also the similarities along with the pros and cons of each to show what's good about the games and what's not so good so that you can have an idea of which one may be suited to you. So to start things off if you're familiar with the Ridge Racer games I'm sure by now if you have played the PlayStation 1 for any length of time you will be very very familiar with the Ridge Racer series as it is one of the most iconic arcade racing series ever in the history of video gaming and it was also one of the launch titles for the original PlayStation when it released back in 1994 and 1995 and as a direct comparison to that we have Racing Groovy Versus that was heavily influenced by the Ridge Racer series and you can see that from the customised menus and even the gameplay visuals and styles that is very similar graphics to the Ridge Racer games. They both have their own unique quirks and similarities to a point where they have similar aesthetics both visually and how they play. As with a lot of these arcade games back in the 90s, the gameplay was focused on short, quick play segments where you only had access to a maximum of three tracks within each of the games and you had a number of cars all with their own unique abilities and handling characteristics and visual representations and each car had a direct influence of how they impacted each race that you played. Some cars will be easier to handle while others focus more on speed. There was enough vehicles available in each of the games to suit the player's own preferences, wants and needs so that you can get the most out of the experience. If you're looking for a, a simple playthrough, you primarily would use the cars that have the best handling characteristics, where if you want a more challenging experience, you would focus on using the cars that focus more on power and speed. It lies with the tracks in the games. Bridge Racer focuses primarily around one specific track, but it does open up into different areas depending on the difficulty of the race that you choose from the start. Whereas Racing Groovy Versus has three totally different tracks, but all with their own difficulty elements to them. The tracks become narrower and wider depending on different areas that you approach throughout the course of play, and each in different environments, anything from like Rocky Mountains to to cityscapes and even villages whereas with Ridge Racer it focuses primarily on the one track but there are some differences between both of the games as with Ridge Racer you have the ability to play in a mirror mode so when you start a race you can turn the car around and drive through the wall at the start as you can see here and it replicates the entire track but in a mirrored format so that all the corners and all the aesthetics are all in the opposite direction so it definitely adds to the challenge and the fun of the game plus Ridge Racer also has dynamic weather effects as you're going through some of the races the light will change depending on where you're at in the race so you can start off from the background being very bright and sunny to gradually turn into darkness as you go through each of the races so that in itself was a very unique feature and was quite unheard of for a very early game on the PlayStation. Racing Groovy Versus doesn't have these aesthetics as much but it does have some other unique quirks in it that when you go into areas like you go through tunnels and different locations the lighting and the environment does change around and reflects pretty much off the car and the overall environment as you're racing through them but both games are very unique and quirky in their visual representation they've got really colorful graphics they do have a very similar visual style and even with regards to the cars as you're going through the game primarily with each game you start off with a number of cars to race with at the start of the game but there are some major differences in how you gain access to the cars within each of the games with racing groovy versus you will unlock the cars as you progress through the game as you win races whereas with ridge racer to unlock most of the cars you have to complete the mini game where you have to shoot all the enemies before the game starts and if you manage to complete it by destroying all the enemies you will unlock 
all of the base cars in the game and you also have an opportunity to race against the devil race or as you progress towards the end of the game and if you manage to defeat it you will unlock that and that is the fastest car in the game and it will make your gameplay runs a lot easier. Racing Groovy Versus does have similar aesthetics in how it plays out where when you do unlock cars you will gradually get to a point where you will unlock better cars and even faster cars but you do have to keep playing in order to achieve that. But between the differences of the two, they're very very similar in how they play and even with their visual representations. Although between the two, Ridge Racer is definitely the easier game to pick up and play because Ridge Racer does have a beginner element to it in terms of the tracks because each of the tracks represents a specific difficulty within the game and it does start off at a beginner level to make it easy for newbies to really get into the game to pick it up and to play it so that they can gradually get better at it. Racing Groovy versus the learning curve is definitely a lot steeper. It doesn't have that beginner friendly element to it as such. Like it is easy to pick up and play but it's a lot harder to win races because the track layouts are a lot more difficult than that of Ridge Racer. But not only that Ridge Racer does have really really good drift style mechanics where you can spin the car around corners and drift around different segments at ease if you manage to be able to master the control system. Racing Groovy Versus does have a similar system in place to do drifting around corners but it's not as well refined as Ridge Racer and a lot of it has to do with the handling aesthetics of some of the vehicles but not only that the layer of the tracks it's definitely a lot harder to master. But if you do manage to get the hang of it, you will be able to really enjoy the experience also. But Ridge Racer, I found myself personally, is definitely easier to master the drift mechanics in it. And it, even to this day, it's still one of the easiest games to utilize that effect very very well and for one of the playstation launch titles it truly is groundbreaking and what it was able to achieve back then that you were able to have a mix of all those elements combined but the one really good thing that both of these games have in common is the arcade feel as ridge racer is a port of the arcade game and it does a really good job of capturing a lot of the elements that made that game so special and even racing groovy versus also does follow the same aesthetic to a point that they're both visually representable of the arcade style they're really authentic to what they're trying to do they are authentic arcade racing games and they're both worthwhile checking out and in my opinion if you're into arcade racing games ideally you probably have played ridge racer but racing groovy versus is also another game that really is worth checking out i have done previous videos on both of these games on the channel so i'll make sure to drop links down below in the description so that you can go and check them out and I'd love to know what your thoughts are of both of these games. Do you really enjoy playing arcade racing games? And if so, what do you think of these two games? Have you actually played them yourself? And what do you think of them overall? Which would be your personal favourite overall? I'd love to hear what you think, so be sure to share it down in the comments below. And if you have enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more comparison style videos where I do side by side comparisons of similar arcade racers on the PlayStation, then make sure to leave a like on the video. Again, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to be updated whenever those videos are released. So be sure to check out some of the other videos on the channel where I have provided some other overviews and comparison style videos of similar games that were also released on the PlayStation back in the day. So as always, make sure to keep playing those classic games and enjoying them, and keep those gaming memories alive!